feel to be a Cleveland Brown? Feels great. Um, just blessed to have an opportunity to grow, grow here with, with Hugh, Pep, and this team. It's been uh, really fun these past couple of days getting to know the new teammates, and um, it's truly an honor to be in this league. So, just glad they gave me an opportunity. Hey Robert, M Mike Shanahan said that you called him to thank him for making a recommendation to Jeff Fisher, and he went on to say that he feels that if you go back to what you did in 2012 with the 50 series stuff and design runs, that you can get back to where you were. Do you feel that way too? Uh, I did. I did call Mike, and. Um, you know, I had a good, great conversation with him. Uh, but when it comes to that stuff, I trust uh, that what Hugh and Pep are going to do with this offense, it won't just be about me, um, and it'll be what's best suited for the team. So uh, I just look forward to growing uh, within that and becoming uh, the player and, and reaching my potential um, as fast as I possibly can. Other than physically, what do you have to do um, differently, mentally or whatever, to, to get back to that? I just want to play ball, man. I'm just I'm excited to be here last year. I uh, didn't have an opportunity to play football, so to have that opportunity here and compete uh, and grow, um, it's truly a blessing. So that's really all I'm focused on. Just go out there, play, learn the offense, and, and do what I possibly can to help this team win. What has you done so far to acclimate you to his offense and his way of thinking? Just in, in the time that you've been here so far, I know it's brief. Though. Yeah, it's just the way he approaches the game, the way he approaches every day. Um, I think the team can can kind of feel that. Uh, just the way he talks to you, the way his expectations of this team, um, and those are all things that you know we keep in house. But uh, it's just a good vibe to be around, and uh, every day you wake up wanting to come to work even more. You mentioned Hughes' offense, but and it's only been a couple of days. But what kind of offense do you expect him to run, and how do you think it would? match up with your uh, skill set? No, I mean, I think, like I said, we're going to run uh, the best offense that we can for the personnel that we have. And, um, you know, that's why they call him coach. And uh, he'll, he'll put us in positions to be successful. And I think everybody trusts that. So we're just trying to make sure we master what it is that, that coach wants us to accomplish through his offense, the, the speaking a new language uh, and getting that across to everybody. You know, that's our job as quarterbacks to, to make that happen. So we're just focused on that right now. And then once we get out and are able to run some plays and they'll figure out, hey, this is what we do best. And that's what we'll run. Robert, you were a number two pick in the draft and now the Browns have a number two pick in the draft. Mm -hmm. You know, if they take a quarterback, it's going to be a lot of pressure internally and externally to see him play. What are your thoughts on what may happen on draft day? Oh, I, just, I really don't know. Um, it's really up to uh, higher management that's, you know, way above my pay grade. So uh, I just go out, compete, have fun, grow with the team, and, and whatever they decide to do with the second pick or, or any picks after that uh, is truly up to them. I didn't, you know, sign on the dotted line to, to draft players and came here because I want to play football. So uh, I trust that whatever they do is in the best interest of the team and uh, just go from there. Spend some time out there with Townhouse, and, and if so, you know, what are you working on? How did it go? And will you do that more extensively throughout the offseason? How you doing, Mary Kay? Doing good? Um, no, I just uh, have been in communication with, with Tom House, and I just know that uh, he's worked with a lot of great, great players in the past and still does even to the, uh, till today. So I really wanted to be a part of that and continue to, to grow my knowledge base. Um, so uh, I think. You know, it'll be really good uh, to, to learn uh, from a guy like him uh, who has dealt with so many guys in the league and, and helped them develop uh, in ways that, you know, not everybody can. So I'm excited to see how that goes and, and it'll truly grow. What was it like for you last year, Robert? I mean, you were healthy and, and I mean, it just was such a fall from 2012. What was all that like for you? I don't know. It's, you know, it's like, could, have you ever been able to not write? Yeah, so you know, it's um, it's it's one of those things that you know, you love to do something so much, and when that's stripped away from you, uh, one of two things can happen: you can either tank it and, and allow it to break you, or you can let it build you up and show you that you know you really love this game. And um, you know, it was it was a, a process last year, but you know, I come here you know today more excited uh, to be with these guys, and I know that the passion in that locker room uh, is reciprocated on what we want to do here. Robert, do you feel 
responsibility or, or for a role in the fact that you had the greatest rookie year for a quarterback in the history of the NFL, and then three years later you're not there anymore? I mean, as you look back on it, can you look at yourself and say there are things I maybe could have done differently? Oh, no doubt. I definitely do. Um, you know, I've grown a lot since 2012 and, and just throughout the whole process of, of all those years there in Washington, so I'm not um, oblivious to, to that fact. I know there's things that I could have done differently, but today I can't focus on that. You know, I have to focus on what I'm doing here with the Cleveland Browns, and, um, you know, I, I keep saying I'm excited, but everyone in that locker room is excited about the opportunity before us and what we can do for the city. What was the toughest question that you got from Hugh Jackson? What did you feel you needed to convince him of? I mean, you know, every every question that you can think of was asked. You know, they were very thorough um, in the interview process uh, with what they wanted to, to know from me about what happened in D.C. Um, you know, as a player, like, you know, I think I, I saw him say that, you know, he didn't think that I had, I wasn't clogged up anymore or whatever uh, phrase he used. You know, you just have to, to learn from, from what happened, learn from your mistakes, take your success and, and try to build upon that. So that's really what we're trying to do here. And I'm not, you know, trying to let any baggage hold me down from, from the past, but I do have a massive chip on my shoulder. I know this team has a massive chip on its shoulder. When he says that he feels that you are a humbled Robert Griffin, do you agree with that? I mean, you, if you say you're humble, then you're not humble. So I can't say that. Um, no, I just think I'm I'm more experienced. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm still a kid. I feel like I'm 26. There's a, you know, we're all kids. We get to play a kid's game. Um, you know, one of my teammates uh, in Washington, Kedrick Golson, said we play a, a kid's game for a king's ransom, and it's the the truth. So if if it's a kid's game, you got to have fun doing it. Um, but I do think I'm more experienced, and I and I kind of know how uh, to navigate the waters, and you know that'll help me. Uh, as a player here, uh, it'll help me as a player to lead this team as well. Is it your expectation when you walk in here, I'm winning the starting job, that's it? I mean, I think that's everybody's expectation when you play quarterback in the National Football League. It's, um, it's just, it is what it is. Only one guy gets to play. Um, but the stronger we are in that group, uh, you know, in that room, the stronger football team will have. So and no one's, you know, going to step on anybody's toes. But we're all, we're all here to compete, all here to win a job. Um, and at the end of the day, do what we can to help this team win. Did you Robert, how, close, Robert, how close of a player are you now to the player you were in 2012? Uh, I mean, well, I had a whole year off. So, you know, I feel good, pretty good um, health-wise. Um, but I think the experience that I've gained <laughs> over the years of being in the NFL really helped me uh, master the offense and, and kind of know um, how to attack the defenses uh, in this division. Did your confidence take a hit at all in the last couple of years in Washington, or do you still think you can be that player that everybody thought you were as a rookie? I mean, the confidence, you know, it's, it's uh, you either have it or you don't. So um, I don't think that's, that'll ever be an issue. Uh, I just really want to grow with this team, uh, continue to learn, expand my knowledge base, and. Uh, try to get the ball to those playmakers that we have and let them let them do all the work. My job is just to be the point guard. Do you still feel like you have the ability of being the best quarterback? Do you still feel like you can be the best quarterback in the NFL when you said that at one point? Uh, I'm not going to get caught in that one again. But uh, <laughs> it's you know you have to have a belief. Uh, and what you believe on the inside uh, comes out uh, in the way you approach the game and the way your, your teammates see you. So um, you have to have confidence. What's the relationship between you and Josh McCown been like thus far? Obviously, both of you trying to be leaders in that in that room. What's that been like? Yeah, it's great. I just like I said, you know, for us as quarterbacks, the closer we are as a group, the, the better the team will be. And you know, we're two uh, faith-based guys. You know, God-fearing individuals. Uh, so is Austin and Connor. So it, it's been great, great conversation, uh, great learning the offense together, and and really getting out there and trying to teach it to the rest of the guys. When you first heard that Cleveland um, was interested in you. Um, I just thought it was a, another opportunity and I felt blessed. So I'm excited to be here. Did you know. Know, look at the team or anything, you know, maybe before you came in the interview or do any kind of homework or anything? Like um, you know, sometimes you don't get to pick where you play. And one of the things that I thought about this opportunity was it was an, uh, a great opportunity to grow with Hugh Jackson and Pep Hamilton. Uh, and I did get a chance to pick. Um, so I felt like that was a blessing. And uh, I'm very excited about my decision. Robert, obviously you're not the head coach, and your offense that you're going to run is what he's going to put in. But would you be surprised, given 
what you did in 2012, if there weren't some zone read elements somewhere in, in the system that you guys are going to run? No, I mean, I, just, I wouldn't be. I mean, that they ran zone read with Andy. Um, in Cincinnati, so I mean, I'm sure it'll be sprinkled in there somewhere. Um, but you know, that all depends on what we do best. You know, if we're the best zone read team all throughout camp and in and, and mini camps and training camp, then I guess that's what we'll do. If we're not, then we won't do it. I'm not afraid uh, to, to sit in the pocket and throw the ball. I'm not afraid to, to run the zone read. I'm not afraid to do what's best for this team. Robert, can you protect, can you protect yourself? I mean, can you? I mean, because remember, sliding was an issue that. Do you feel like you can protect yourself if you have to run that stuff now? Yeah, I do. We were, you know, we were running a, a drill the other day, and I just hit a perfect slide. I was like, man, I just really been working on that. So I felt good about that one, but um, you know, I'll, I'll protect myself. Robert, some of your teammates have said that you called them even before work had started. What, what has been your message to guys when you've been introducing yourself? Um, just excited to be here. Um, you know, I know the history a little bit of, the, of, of Cleveland, and and you know. Guys sometimes don't want to come here. I wanted to come here. I want to be here, and I wanted them to know that. Um, you know, they call this the land, so we're going to make this ours, and you know, really give these fans what they deserve. Uh, but I really just tried to echo to them that I am excited to be here. I'm excited to work with them, and uh, it's going to take all of us. What was the first team meeting like, and kind of what presence does you have in, in those kind of settings? Oh, I mean, you know, he's he's very energetic, uh, but he's very businesslike. Uh, you know, he, he's going to come into the room and he's going to command the room uh, and guys respect that. So, you know, whenever you're trying to do a turnaround or, or change the culture, uh, it starts up front, it starts at the top and, and he's the head. So uh, everything's going to trickle down from him. And uh, I think all the guys are really excited about that. Robert, how are you different as a man and a leader now compared to before you went through that experience in Washington that you will carry out? to this organization and your teammates as you, you know, evolve as a, a quarterback here? Yeah, I just, you know, I just know uh, what it takes to, to, to be great and, and succeed in this league. Um, so it, it's not about I or me, it's about we, it's about us. It's us versus everybody outside of our locker room um, who may not believe in us, um, who don't think that well, we can do this or do that. Uh, I think I can bring that that atmosphere and that confidence to the team, uh, not only through what we say and how we work, but what we do on the field. So you know, I've I've seen the really I've seen the great, and I've seen the really bad in this league, and that's a very valuable um, piece of experience to have. Uh, and I feel like that's what um, the guys are, are wanting from me, or at least what I've been told. You know, they want to know how to turn it around, and. Uh, feel like you had to do in terms of decreasing at, when you said it's not about I, it's about we. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you consciously feel like you have to be more conscious of in this evolution from Washington to here? No, I, I think that's always been the way it is, regardless of what storylines they want to write. It's always been we. Um, even when coming out of college, it was always not about, it's not about me, it's about we, it's about us. And uh, I just think as a quarterback in this league, you're going to get all the attention. You know, you win, it's, man, that guy's awesome. You lose, this guy is terrible. And as a quarterback you in the National Football League, you have to understand that and, and realize that um, it, it's always those guys, you know. And when you lose, it, it, it is always you. And that's the way you have to approach the game. And even if you approach it that way to, to yourself, you have to be able to come in front of the mic and talk to you guys and say the exact same things. Because one, one little slip up, makes it a national story. Uh, and I think that's what happened to me um, through my experience as a player in Washington. Uh, and I know that now. So, you know, after a loss, you can't be emotional and say things that are meant to be behind closed doors or that might be taken the wrong way uh, because it's just the way it is. Uh, so I understand that now and I don't hold that against anybody else. Um, you know, I just know that what I have to do as a player and as a leader of this team, uh, and I'm gonna do that. Every day we see, you know, another starter, you know, walking out the door, or you know, players lost in free agency. There's been a, a massive exodus. Uh, it seems like a, a massive rebuild going on. Uh, have you had an opportunity to assess what kind of talent is going to be around you, and do you see enough weapons on offense and a good enough defense for you to look good? I, I definitely see how guys are working every single day, and 
you know, believe it or not, everybody in the NFL is talented. <laughs> it's all about uh, how you utilize them. So um, I'm very excited about what we do have and, and what we're going to add uh, through the draft or, or other means. Uh, but like I said, that's not my focus. I get a chance to work with these guys every single day. I see how they work. I see how they come to work ready to go, how they prepare, how they're learning the offense, learning the formations, learning what we want to do. And that's what's exciting. It's real exciting when you know guys are going to be where they're supposed to be and they're hungry. We're all hungry. Like I said, we all have a chip on our shoulder, and we haven't eaten dinner in a long time, so we're going to go get it. When you say the offense will be run to the personnel you have, for you, does that have to be the zone read, read option? I mean, like I said, it can be anything. It could be under center drop back passing. It could be play action passing. It could be a heavy run game. Whatever coach decides, this is what we're going to be. This is our identity. We are all going to buy into that. And I think all the guys know that. Um, you know, it starts up front with Joe. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to, to have him on the offensive line and lead that group. So we're real excited. Just, you know, can't say it enough. Robert, you seem That's happy. Right. You seem happy. How important is this second chance? How motivating is that for you? <clears throat> I mean, it seems like you're really embracing it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, like I said, it's a blessing to be in this league and to have the opportunity to play football at the highest level. So uh, I'm really excited about it. And, you know, you, why not be happy? Like I said, we play a, king, a kid's game for a king's ransom. Uh, this is the best job in the world. And I want to really embrace that. I want all the guys in, in that locker room to embrace that and truly try to reach their full potential. Position right here, too, considering what happened with John and other, so many guys that have been through here. Do you feel a little extra pressure to get it right here as a quarterback? I mean, uh, no pressure, no diamonds.